you don't bribe me, and you go, hey. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, hit your Windows key, and then hit down. See, the convenience of having the same laptop as you is going to see yeah. really cool stuff like that. So I used to use all tab, but then I just, I just ran across this. All tab, all tab, all tab, yeah. Yeah, all tab will do them. It's not very similar. Yeah. So, all tab is what I do. Oh, I normally use all tab, but I thought, no, that was kind of, that was kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> little, we're going to look cool on that. A little, little eye candy party. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So your Windows, uh, yeah, Windows, uh, your Windows, and then your uh, your Windows key and your Tab key, and then that'll that'll take you through it. So. All right. So. Uh, All right, so we had, uh, we should have gotten 18. Okay, anyone that didn't get the 18, folks, uh, AC. <laughs> All right, just want to know where I need to start out at. All right. So then, uh, then what did you get for your uh, voltage secondary peak? 25.45. What did you get? 25.45. Okay, 25.45. Both peak. All right, and then how about your, uh, how about your voltage off peak then?
pipes in with uh, with all that being filtered. Yeah, 12.03 E rip. And that's our unit, E rip. Okay? And then uh, then what's our frequency ripple? 120 hertz, because now our output, if we had our circuit there, our output is we're full wave, uh, full wave rectified. So now our our P rip uh, would be 120 hertz, or our frequency yeah. ripple. Sorry. All right. Then we already said that uh, these first two are never changing. Those are coming right out of the transformer, so those aren't going to change. So you should have ended up with the uh, same for this one. Then after we go through our rectifier, then that's where, uh, you know, well, even after our rectifier, without it, uh, it's going to still be, it's going to stay the same. So this one also stays the same. You should end up getting a positive 12.03 uh, full speed. Coming out of your output. Then this is where we kind of use our 90% rule and calculate out a, an average of what our uh, DC average would be. With that, also we put that capacitor in there, and we get kind of a approximation. So what would you get for um, a DC average now? Ten point eight three. Yeah. So ten point eight three. Volts DC. That's going to be our positive. Positive 10.83. So make sure you watch your polarities on those. Then what's your current going through there? 9.023 milliamps. Yeah, 9.023 milliamps. And our uh, and our power? 97.70 Okay, so you can see our power uh, power increased, and then our uh, sorry, and then using our ten percent rule, what do we get for uh, B rep? Yeah. One point two zero three B rep. Yeah, so considerably a bit less once we put that filter cap in there, and then if we uh, do it with the engineering rule. And actually use our actual values of our current and our capacitor and our frequency ripple, what do we end up for our V rip?
and then hit your equals, and you should get 939.9 millivolts. Yeah, but when I divide, yeah, we, yeah, we recalculate it all to get that. Uh, when I divide 10.83 by uh, 1.2 kilo ohms. Okay, 10 point, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, my calculator says uh, 9.025. That's what I had. That's what I had to do. So it still should be 9.025, so it's still pretty close, so you still should get something close to this. Yeah, and then what I said was right. 940.1 million. Oh, I thought you said 500. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was that sorry. I heard you say 500. It sounded like it was way up. Yeah, it is. Well, it was way up what I heard. Yeah, the dog. I'm sorry, Joe. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Then you start hearing sixes and sevens and stuff like that. No, they're wrong. No, then. I know. I'll stop listening to the voices that are talking to me and I'll listen to you guys. The other voices are wrong. All right, and uh, frequency, uh, frequency rebel then is going to be what? Does that change? My, it's my frequency rebel. 120 hertz. 120 hertz, that doesn't change. Okay. All right. Anyone have any questions on any of that stuff? Everyone do pretty good on that? You probably have, probably see one of these on the quiz final midterm, one of those. Make sure you watch your polarities. Alright, then our uh, then our equipment used that. So what would I use for measuring my uh, voltage secondary uh, RMS? Digital multimeter. Yeah, a digital multimeter. Then how about my voltage off secondary feed then? What, uh, what, can I, what would I use? Scope. Scope. What would I have to do though if I use my oscilloscope though? Yeah, you'd have to calculate it. So make sure you calculate it, right? Because we can't float the ground, right? Yep. Somebody's going to float the ground and turn out their power supply and then burn out their fuse on their transformer. So yeah, your ground is going to still have to go here. But if I do that, then I'm only measuring across I'm measuring across my load, not my secondary voltage. So you got to put your ground here. So there's your ground, and then you're going to have to put channel one there, channel two here, and then take channel one minus channel two. Take the take the difference between those two, and then uh, that will be your voltage. Going across your secondary. Okay, so I have a I have a few hundred milliamp uh, fuses that goes in your transformers. And I'll be gladly to sell them to you. So, but if you end up floating that ground, you're going to end up burning out that hundred milliamp fuse in your transformer. So make sure you do a math calculation. Never float that ground. Maybe float that ground. You're uh, you're going to short out your transformer. All right, well, that was the big one. That's the one that we really have to watch out for. Then our voltage off heat, what can we use? Yeah, yeah full scope, because we're going to be going right from here to ground, so it's just like measuring across my motor, much faster. So just do that the normal way. Voltage off DC, what would I use? DC meter. Uh, my current, we know how we measure current. You know how I've talked about power. My voltage rip, you know, we use an oscilloscope. <laughs> And my frequency rip. All right, so we'll uh, so do that third one here at home tonight, and we'll go over the answers real quick in the morning. Then I'll show you how to wire up your transformer before the quiz, and then we'll take the quiz, and then the time will be left there.